Hi guys, it's Blackie for Shaman's Forge Woodscraft. And this video is for my friend Dan Lutz up in Zeno, Ohio. See, Dan and I have been talking knives for quite a bit. The Master Woodsman is one of them. And he has the original prototype that I got from William before I got the one I have now. So me and Dan have become pretty good knife buddies and we talk quite a bit. Now, one of the things that we're both enamored with is the back and the way of the blade design of a butcher knife. You see this drop right here and the way that edge is created is so that it can be laid flat underneath the meat, underneath the skin and pushed forward so that the skin rolls up and over the blade for skinning and processing meat. And this dull back strap back here is so it doesn't dig into the meat so it slides, especially when you're skinning things like deer legs or stuff like that to get the tendons out and you're fully utilizing an animal. This design, why we call it a butcher knife, is so useful. Which leads me to this. Now I was online and looking at things and you know that I have bought and collected several of the um, Rough Rider pocket knives. And they've got a series right now called Ram's Horn. And I saw this knife in there that was kind of odd and looked interesting to me. And here's a good close-up of it. This is Ram's Horn. Nickel steel bolsters, stainless steel spring, brass liners, etc. And it's a very pretty knife. You know, ram's horn, actual horn, got a lanyard hole in it. But what sets this knife apart is the blade. It's called a cotton sampler. See what that blade is shaped like? It's like a great big scalpel, isn't it? Now what a cotton blade was for was you went up to the bowl of a cotton plant before it had opened up and they cut the bowl and inspected it for weevils and stuff like that. Thus this almost like a medical scalpel shaped blade but when I saw that what I thought of was butcher knife because if you look at that tip compared to that one's tip you can see where I'm going with this this makes a very handy butcher type knife that I now have a pocket knife with that big now I also use trapper blades but this big butcher like roll right here Looks like it would be just so handy for processing small game. The handle, although it's made out of horn, is nice and long, so I got a nice long grip. And that spur right there is perfect for putting my thumb, and in this section here is no edge whatsoever. So you've got a safety gap you can lock your thumb into for pushing it along. Again, it's very an odd-looking blade. It's got this bevel here at the top that makes it very thin right there, but it's dull all the way, so it will slide upon that. And then you've got this nice crisp point and this tapered roll right here, which would be perfect for pushing up under the skin and sliding along, so it would just roll over and skin it. So I'm gonna give this knife a try as a pocket skinning knife. I don't know how it's gonna work. I've been very happy with the Rough Riders that I've utilized and have carried before and so I think it might be a worthwhile addition to my collection. I just wanted to share that particularly with Dan up there in Ohio. Dan, if you think you'd like to try one of these, give me a holler. I'll send you one. This is Blackie for Shaman's Forge Woodscraft. Wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day guys.